Hey, what's going on guys? Terribly Tactical, back at tabletop number two, looking at my SOE kit bag. It just so happens to be in the greatest camo ever devised, which is Multicam Black. Multicam Black is the master race of all camos, and uh, I got a previous review on this bag. This bag is awesome. It's like 65 bucks, and it's real Cordura, like not no fake cheap Chinese stuff. This is real deal Cordura, and it's a kit bag. So what is a kit bag? A kit bag is a bag that you put your kit in. Simple as that. End of the video. No. Um, something, you know, military guys use it, law enforcement guys use it, patriotic Americans like me and you use it, or at least should be using it, and it's a good grab-and-go option that has a dedicated amount, you know, of specific stuff, whether it's, you know, guns and ammo, or like in mine, it's got like the combat apparel you know for a situation where you know we would be needing to go to that um so this has like a lot of like the stuff the clothing and, and accessories and stuff that i would need for that contained in a grab and go option so bug out you know go to war Minuteman type of stuff you got your kit bag and preferably a few of these because you should have another one with guns and ammo and different stuff like that and survival equipment, whatever. This one specifically that we're going over today is, again, mostly my uh, my apparel and stuff. So let's get into it. And you guys are going to see how much stuff. I mean, this is, I could still squeeze a bunch of stuff into this and, uh, you know, it's not even completely full. But it's, I mean, it's, it's a good size bag and for the money and it holds up, absolutely no problems with that. And... Uh, I like it. I like it a lot. So first off, first thing you're going to see, just in case. Now this is this bag is assuming that it's with my other bags, my long gun, you know, pistol, whatever. And so that that's what you're going to see. It's not complete as it is, but with the other gear it is. So um, this support for my plate carrier, my rifle. Now, my plate carriers, both of them I have set up uh, with mags on them already. Uh, conveniently placed so that they're not going to interfere with wearing this on top of it. And uh, with this, which holds two, four, six mags. Okay, this is an SOE micro rig, SOE kit bag. You guys see a theme here. This is multicam, which is still cool. Not as cool as Multicam Black, but this is their AKM4 micro rig. And, um, you know, I got, got P-Mags in here, six P-Mags, and then an SOE uh, pull-out med tray with, with a whole gunshot, you know, stab, car accident, trauma kit in there. So that's, that's good to go. And this, even if I don't have my plates with me, this is enough gear to get me by for a gunfight type of thing until I could, you know, get back to uh, base camp or, or whatever I'm doing. So this is in there um got a handkerchief america love america and uh that's just you know for handkerchief purposes but also to show who i'm rocking with so there's that um nalgene bottle it's empty i do have to fill this up with what the heck is that well that's really disgusting <laughs> There is mold growing inside of my Nalgene bottle, it would appear. Definitely going to have to figure that out. That's really, really gross. Good thing I'm catching this now, guys, because this has literally just been sitting um, in its grab station for quite a bit. I'm probably going to have to throw this out. I don't even know what I had in here that would make it moldy. Anyway, that's disgusting. But uh, let's forget that happened. But um, water, super essential, and a Nalgene thing like this that doesn't have mold in it, you could uh, you could put a lot of useful things in there. It's a wide open mouth, which I'm not going to open right now. That's disgusting. <laughs> I should probably quit and redo this video, but I'm not going to. This is real life stuff, people. And a perfect example as to why you should check your kit and make sure that it's up to par and ready. Okay, this is not ready. I would have drank out of this or something and died. So let's get that out of there. Next up, combat pants. Okay, with a belt. Now, this is just a standard inner belt with Velcro. Um, not the best belt, not the sturdiest belt, but it's in combination with a battle belt that I have that I was taking out to do another video with, so that's why it's not in here with it. Um, but these are just LA Police Gear operator pants, okay? These are OD green, obviously, and um, 
where I'm at, you know, I don't, I don't want to be wearing khaki or flat dark earth. It doesn't really blend in well. I want to stick to urban colors, black, gray, subdued colors. OD green still works pretty good for that. And then, too, if you end up in the woods, uh, that's not half bad. But these LA Police Gear operator pants or just any of the pants that they offer as far as their tactical style pants are great, especially for the money. Um, they're like, or at least they used to be, they're like 18 to 20, 25 bucks. Now I think they went up a little bit, but they're still a third of the cost of most of the 511 stuff and in my opinion and from my experience every bit is good so there's that get that out of the way um got some mechanics gloves okay and you're gonna see a theme here too so i got black ones and then i got multicam ones okay these are fast fits these ones are not uh they're both my size mechanics gloves for the money uh i i I wear all the time. They're good work gloves. They're good, obviously, mechanic gloves. And they're good tactical gloves. They're not the best. I know Arc'teryx and a lot of other places, you know, higher-end stuff, um, make a better um, tactical glove. But for off-the-shelf stuff, you can buy it at Communist Walmart or Meyer or your big box store, Bass Pro, wherever. Um, plus, there's still real dudes out there using these, and they hold up great for me, and I've had no issues with them. Wide variety of colors, wide variety of camo patterns, relatively inexpensive. So I got, I don't know how many pairs of these mecha mechanics gloves, but I got a lot. Um, but black and then multicam. And that goes with, okay, multicam black combat shirt from TrueSpec. Um, TrueSpec is not the highest name in the game as far as like, this is no cry precision. This is not, you know, any type of Arcteric stuff. This is not any, you know, super crazy, but I've got a few of these things and they hold up. They work uh, nice and thin as far as what would be actually under the armor. That's why you would wear uh, a shirt like this is for, you know, under your armor. It's nice and thin. They're flame retardant. They're water resistant. They're rip stop. Uh, they got patches. Um, patch panels and pockets and reinforced elbows and all that stuff so if you are really putting full kit on and doing it um you you probably want to invest in a, in a decent combat shirt this is like 70 bucks it's a little bit of an upcharge because it is multicam black but it's totally worth it and, and so there's that got an od green shema wide variety of purposes wide variety of uses you know water filtration covering your face from smoke survival sling when you broke your arm in the woods camouflage whatever million and one purposes to have one of these i got a bunch of these different colors different patterns and they're cheap you can get them for a few bucks so grab that and then you guys are starting to see why um i got the black and then the multicam because i'm rocking both multicam black and or multicam depending on what situation I'm in, where I'm at. If I'm in the woods, I'm going to be rocking this with my Ferro Concept Slickster rig, which is flat dark earth. And, uh, you know, the OD is going to go good either way as far as the pants are concerned. And then if I'm in an urban environment or it's nighttime or whatever, I'm going to throw on my AR500 rig that's all black with the multicam black and the OD and all that. So it, it gives me options. Plus, it's an extra shirt to wear. You know, you're going to be sweaty and stinky and all that stuff. Um, Got some undies, okay, you can't go wrong with too many undies. Again, you're going to be sweating. Um, socks, you want to have some good socks, some good wool socks or, or synthetic style wool socks or whatever. Uh, they're, uh, the hiking style or, you know, hunting socks, whatever you're going to wear for that, you know, as opposed to your normal everyday socks that you wear, these are going to have more cushion, more pad. They're going to be a little bit more durable. They're going to keep you warm better and uh, you know keep you dry a little bit better depending on what you go with but i just i got some of those in there and then uh footwear you have to have good footwear okay so if we're going into you know the end of the world the apocalypse our red dawn boogaloo booga flu cerveza virus you know epidemic this is uh this is what you want solomon Excellent shoes, probably the best active footwear on the market. These are OD green. They'll match either, you know, my multi-clam, multi-clam, <laughs> multi-clams, uh, multi-cam black or multi-cam uh, standard, you know, patterns. Plus, they're solid. They are breathable. They're reinforced. They're quality made. They got good shred. Uh, you'll see that they're dirty, too. You have to break these in. You can't just put, like, a brand new pair in there. Uh, which these are relatively brand new, but I have worn them. I have broke them in a little bit because you don't want to get blisters that could take you out of the fight, but you need a quality set of boots um, 
or shoes, but boots are better. And the, these, like the, the mid height Salomon boot shoe things like hikers or whatever. Uh, these, these are the XA, uh, forces. I want to say, yeah, XA forces. This is what I would recommend in either the standard or the Gore-Tex, which would be waterproof. That's a better, you know, walking through the river. Um, well, not necessarily a river. I guess it'd be a Creek, um, snow time type of thing. This is more of a summer boot, but it is what it is. It's the write off concept. I put it in this kit and it's never leaving until, God forbid, this kit gets grabbed for serious business. That way I know I have them in there. Um, they're going to hold up. They're going to work. I know I can count on them because it's quality stuff. And then what else we got? We got a Glock 17 holster. Glock 17 holster just in case inside the waistband in case I'm not in full kit and uh, I want to have a pistol on me and, and be concealed. And then some Wiley X glasses, Wiley X glasses, iPro, super big deal, um, very important. You should have both clear and tinted lenses because uh, you got to be able to wear them and see at night. And then you also want to be able to wear them and be protected and see during the day when it's super bright outside. Uh, these are the Wilson Combat Editions or whatever, but uh, Wiley X, quality, quality eye protection. You know, same thing with Oakley or Edge Tactical Eyewear, all that stuff. Get something good, get something decent, and, and it's dedicated. And again, too, you guys are going to be nitpicking in the comments. Oh, why don't you have this? Why don't you have that? You should have this, that, and the third. I have all those things that you're going to mention. They're in different parts of different kits. So this is literally just my apparel, um, you know, my clothing that I'm going to have for the Boogaloo, um, you know, for gun fighting purposes when I'm in full kit, this is what I'm going to have to support that as well as a few other things, uh, perhaps. And, and all the other stuff is extra. Like this could be in the kit with my guns or my survival gear or my medical gear type of stuff. Same thing with the holster. But I will tell you this, the most important piece of any Boogaloo loadout apparel grab and go kit is the boonie hat. You have to have a boonie hat, comes in super handy, uh, stylish, absolutely stylish. And uh, that's that guys, the boonie hat. This lets them know that you mean business. So that's the video guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe. All that stuff helps me out a ton. You guys have no idea. Uh, please remember to check the first three links in the description box because those help you fight for your God-given inalienable gun rights. And furthermore, if you want to help support this channel financially, shop with any of the links in the description box, use the coupon codes provided, all that. I get a little bit of a commission goes back into the channel to do better content, more content, and uh, you know keep this up and running. So I appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, stay tuned. Hit that notification bell if you haven't so you don't miss a video, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.